Hello everyone, uh, in this video we're going to talk about the last type of transformation that we can apply on an independent variable that is called uh, time scaling. And as the previous videos, I'm going to explain this concept using an example. Here I have a signal x of t, which starts from t equal to minus 3 and uh, ends at t equal to 3 and has an amplitude or a maximum amplitude of a. Um, for, for this example, um, I am asked to plot x of 2t first, let's say. Um, well, there are many ways to plot it. Let's just use the, the way that we have uh, discussed uh, when we're discussing the uh, time shifting. Um, there I said that uh, think of this signal that we have to plot as a new signal. And think of the signal that was already given to us as an old signal. So uh, for the old signal, I'm going to put a, a subscript uh, 0 or O with T. And for the new signal that I have to plot, I'm going to put a subscript of N with T. So what I have got is I have to move from T old is equal to T new, which suggests that T new is nothing but T old by 2. And if I um, see what values of t old are going to be mapped on tn then I might need this table. So the value um, when t old was minus 3 is going to be mapped on t new which is equal to uh, minus 3 by 2 which is minus 1.5 and the value of t old when it was 0 is going to be mapped on 0 by 2 which is 0 and the value of the signal when t was 3 when t was 3 is going to be mapped on 3 by 2 which is from here it's going to be 1.5 now let's plot um, x of 2n here you can observe uh, sorry 2t sorry 2t so um, which is this one x of 2t yet yeah, this n was just my for my own convenience, so it's not really there. It's just for my own convenience. So um, the, the value of signal f to plot for t equal to zero is going to be the value that the signal had for t equal to zero for the old signal, which was this one. So it remains a here, and. Uh, if I look here, that the value of the signal which was at minus 3 is going to move to the uh, minus 1.5. So this value or so the, the, the value of the signal at t minus 3, which is something like that, is going to move at minus 1.5. And the value of the signal which was at t equal to 3 is going to move to t equal to 1.5. So rest you can extrapolate um, this signal uh, in your mind and it's going to be something like this. So what we have seen is um, this signal, um, this signal is just the compressed version of this signal over here. So this signal is compressed version of x of t. And by how much amount we have compressed this signal? Well, we can compare these two signals and can see that the compression is of the order 2. And that 2 is written on this side here as well. So let's do another example where um, I'll be plotting x of uh, t by 2. So I'll be plotting x of t by 2. And my x of t can be something like, I don't know, let's just say this, minus 1, 2, and 3, and it's x of t. So um, if you use the old technique um, that I have discussed um, over here, I'm going to get something like this.
and that point is going to be at 4 and this point is going to be at minus 2 and the amplitude is going to be 3. So we can say that um, this one is, this signal is expanded version of x of t and by how much amount we have expanded signal? Well, you can see that uh, we have um, doubled the width of a signal on both sides of this origin. So we have expanded the signal by um, order of two, and this is written over here as well. Um, uh, before we leave, um, just a last thing, that um, whenever we are asked to plot x of a t, and a is, uh, the magnitude of a is uh, greater than, I guess, one, then x of a t is going to be um, the, the compressed version of x of t. And if you're, a plot, if you're asked to plot x of a t where the magnitude of a is um, less than 1, then we're going to get the expanded version of x of t. Okay guys, um, if you have any question um, regarding this topic on, on um, time scaling, just post it in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for listening.